personal personification or what you embody is similar to an expression of a piece of a mosaic. So I would like to think as human beings are all connected. So each human being is a part of this whole mosaic. So each human being or each person has a particular expression, uh, feeling, or something that is tangible to fit into this whole entire mosaic. So every human being is extremely important and holds great significance. So what you embody or your personal personification will oftentimes be something that is uh, expressed or able to be um, a tangible feeling or kind of like an art piece that is hidden away within your internal world that is expressed into the exterior world. So th when we have this in mind, we will also find our purpose or we will become closer to finding our purpose or our uniqueness. So each human being is extraordinarily important. They each hold a very important information or an expression of information that needs to be given to the world or what they would like to embody. So if you like to find your embodiment, it's very helpful to start out somewhere. So if you're a person that um, doesn't know exactly what their personal expression is or what their personal uh, personification is, it's very helpful to just to simply write down what it is that you like and what it is that you don't like and oftentimes you will find similarities between the two likes and dislikes. So oftentimes people kind of lose their priority um, or their personal expression because they feel that they need to conform to what everyone else wants. Um, human beings are social creatures so one of our main needs is to be accepted and needed but if each person were to stay true to their personal expression or personal personification, um, we wouldn't feel so much the need to conform or be accepted because we know that our uh, personal existence naturally fits into this entire mosaic. So it is very helpful to not only write down um, or keep in mind what you like or what you don't like, it is also helpful to find what it is that you might think that you embody or what you simply want to embody. So I view desires or wants as an indication of um, your bigger purpose. So if you're not sure what exactly you are embodying or uh, your personal personification, it's very helpful to just think of something that attracts you or a, a word or a feeling that attracts you. So let's say someone has um, doesn't exactly know what their personal expression is, but they really are attracted to vibrancy or they're really attracted to uh, brightness or glowing. The, that is an indication that it is linked to your purpose or your piece in the mosaic. Now, um, it is very helpful to keep in mind that some people um, were given experiences where they only have a limited knowledge of a specific specific feeling. So if you are a person that has come into this life and haven't had very good experiences, so therefore your feelings or your mindset might be a little bit limited, it is very helpful to keep in mind that possibility, the possibilities that you have are endless. So let's say you are a person that is really attracted to happiness and joy uh, or peace or harmony, but you haven't exactly experienced that when you have come into this life or um, you have very limited experiences. So you don't have a very naturally a lot of knowledge about how it feels. It's very helpful to start aligning or making your choices based on what creates happiness or what creates joy. Now, this is very helpful because um, it allows you to start to think in terms of what makes you happy or what makes you joyous. And it allows you to kind of have more of a broader mindset. So let's say you are someone that has grown up in poverty, but you are attracted to wealth or security, but you don't have that 
much of a grasp or how to get more money or how to get more security. So it's very helpful to make choices based on those things. So let's take, for example, you have an expression or um, let's say a personal personification of security. Now security could mean mental security, um, financial security, safety. So start making choices based on security, what comes with security. Maybe it comes with um, wisdom, or maybe it comes with safety, or maybe security comes with the ability to make rational choices. So start aligning your decisions or your choices based on simply the word security. So when we are able to find our personal expression, um, the decisions that we make are going to be a little bit more clear on if we're staying true to our priorities or if we're not. So let's say a person comes into this life and they want, uh, they embody peace. Um, so oftentimes, um, the person will automatically be able to decide, to decide if they are making a choice based on um, their priorities of peace or their expression of peace. So this could include maybe they feel that they want to take a job that is doesn't feel very peaceful to them or it doesn't really kind of um, coordinate with their personal desires. So it's going to feel really off. So your personal expression is a guidance system to what you're supposed to be doing within this life and your purpose and um, your uniqueness. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you guys would like more information on your uniqueness, I do have a video titled Finding Your Uniqueness. And um, it might be really beneficial if you really liked this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.